Today I'm going to show you how to create a fav icon and link it to your web page. So this is my favorite fav icon generator. Uh, there's a bunch out there, but this one you actually get to control the, what your icon looks like. So this is probably like what, 16 by 16, and then here is your color picker. So let's say you want to just have like I don't know a red. A red square with like a white circle with a letter in it. So I'm literally just going to pick and choose the red that I want and you'll see the little hex values as you go up here. So you can kind of change what color you want here on the side and then you can detail that a little bit better here and then just keep clicking. So I'm going to push pause while I create my little icon and you go ahead and do the same thing. Um, just one word of caution. On these types of websites, they're offering us some cool tools for free. So you'll see things like this up here is a banner ad and it's intended to confuse you so that you'll click on it, okay? So avoid clicking on anything right now. If you see these big green buttons, we're not going to do anything with that. Okay, so this is how bad things can happen to you. Uh, don't click on those. All right, I'm going to pause and we will um, meet back. Go ahead, go to favicon.cc and start creating yours now. Okay, so I have created a little Pokeball um, favicon. Just, I don't know just because. Now once you have everything done, um, well first of all keep in mind that this is going to be very tiny. As you're developing it, I don't know if you realize, but you can see what it looks like as a fav icon uh, as you're doing it. And it's, it's, uh, it's live, so if I make a change, if I go and put a black line in here, you'll see it happen and you'll be able to see what it does in the fav icon. So obviously this is a very small little icon. You can't get real detailed here. So uh, just make sure it, it works. And once you're ready to download, you're going to come over here to download fav icon. And there it, it is. Um, this will go into your folder that you have designated for downloads. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to move it into our web development folder, the root directory of our website. So I'm going to go ahead and move this and you go ahead and move yours and we'll be right back. Okay, so here I have placed my favicon.ico in the same directory as my web page that I'm going to add this to. And as long as you see something that looks like this, you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And here is my working web page. If you, uh, I'm using brackets, so I could do a live preview on it. Right now, you'll notice that I have a title example web page, but there's just a little picture of a, of a document. And this is where my fav icon is going to go. So the first thing to note is the fav icon goes in your head section. If you click on your opening head tag, you'll see the closing head tag. So it needs to be somewhere in here. I'm going to put it right underneath my title tag. And this is going to use the link tag. So link rel for relationship equals quotation shortcut icon. And then I'm going to say href equals. And because I already have the icon here, it's going to automatically populate, so I can just press enter. And I'm going to do a file save. And I'm going to refresh my page. And you'll see, there it is already. So there, that is how you attach a fav icon, how to create one and attach it to your website. So what you would need to do is you would need to have this line of code in every single line of your website. And don't forget when you upload your website to the web server that you include this file or it won't show up. Okay, it's very important that you include things 
in your web server and you put it in the same directory as you have it on your local development. Okay, thanks. Bye.